Hello! Welcome to Miki's Kitchen! Today is the 223rd day. Today's Osechi Ryori is Kobumaki or Kelp Rolls. Kelp is Kobu in Japanese. This dish symbolizes joy because the Japanese word Yorokobu, which means joy, sounds like the word for kelp. By the way, we usually use herring to make kobumaki, but if you can't get one, you can substitute salmon for herring. Well, let's get started cooking! First, fill water in a bowl and soak kombu or kelp in water for about 15 minutes. Next, fill water in another bowl and soak kampyo or dried garlic in water. Let stand for about 5 minutes. Next, remove the bones and the skin of the salmon. Then cut it into thin sticks. Like this. Then sprinkle sake over the salmon. And let stand for about 5 minutes. 5 minutes have passed, so drain the water. And put a little salt. Then rub them. Rinse them with running water. And squeeze campio. Now take kombu out of the water and cut it into about 20 centimeters long. Like this. And wipe kombu with paper towel. Then put salmon on the kombu and roll it. And tie it with kampyo.
Like this. Okay, now place kobumaki in a pan and pour water used for soaking kombu. Until they are submerged and add sake Rice vinegar in the pan. And heat it on medium heat until boils. By adding vinegar, the combo will be soft. When it comes to boil, turn down the heat and remove the scum. And add sugar Milling Soy sauce in the pan Then cover with a cooking sheet Then simmer them for about 20 minutes until the kobumaki are well seasoned Well, 20 minutes have passed, so how is it? Mmm, it looks good Now turn off the heat and cut them in half. And serve them on a plate. Okay, that's it. It's time to eat. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Kombu is very salt and the salmon absorbs well the seasonings. You should try it. Well, tomorrow I'll make another kind of osechi ryori. So, see you tomorrow!